Nice, we got a solid hardy rainbow trout. We hit, landed uh, a handful of really nice fish on this fly today and uh, we're casting it up in the shallows and it's cold water still because it's early spring so having a fly that's the right weight is really key. If it's too heavy, um, it tends to snag bottom a lot. So we've got, this one's called the one sculpin. Kind of like the Sage One Rod, it's called the One Sculpin. Not our biggest fish, but a, a hardy rainbow nonetheless. We'll get a quick look at him real fast. See if he unhooks himself. Yeah, nice hardy rainbow there. Kind of the One Sculpin. Great. Okay, we just landed a nice rainbow trout on uh, what we call the One Sculpin. I'm gonna kind of show you this. It looks like a mess right there. That's why the trout love it, but it's got those red eyes on the side. It's kind of a double bunny type hybrid, articulated body, so that hook is in the back right there. Very soft body. Uh, this is even set up so that I can change the hook. I don't know if uh, you can see that, but if you were to bend or break that hook, you can detach the rabbit right there, put a brand new hook on just by threading it on there. It's a pretty good system uh, so that if you make an investment in a fly, you can actually put a sharp hook on it. That's called the One Sculpin. I uh, really like this fly as a compliment to heavy Sculptzilla type streamer. The weight is just perfect. Uh, if I had to describe it on a scale of one to 10, uh, as far as weight goes for a five weight rod and its ease of casting, it's about a five or a six. It's just heavy enough to get down. Sculptzilla being like an eight, let's say, uh, like a larger Sculptzilla, like a number four. This is about a five or a six. So you can throw out the shallows from a boat, uh, let it settle in the shallows, slip it, strip it out slowly without snagging the bottom too much. If you need to get down a little deeper, it just seems to be the right way to dead drift. I wouldn't recommend it for really high water conditions where you really need to get the fly down quick, but a lighter weight streamer, just keep this in mind as you choose flies, a lighter weight streamer allows you to strip slowly without snagging bottom or having false strikes. If you're constantly hitting rocks, hitting the bottom, stuff like that, you can't tell what's fish, what's bottom. But that's called the one sculpin, fabulous fly. Uh, put a loop knot on that to get some crazy action. Catch tons of trout every time. All right, just a little more evidence that scoping pattern's working. A little bit better fish here. Big enough for us. Out here on Super Bowl Sunday, doing a little pre-Super Bowl fishing trip. And we float down to the lodge and we watch the game here in a few minutes. That is a fabulous fish. Beautiful markings on it. They don't come much prettier than that right there. I know that's upside down on the camera, but you get the gist of it. Gorgeous fish. Caught on that same one sculpin, just uh, deeper, slower pool, just being really patient, letting that mid-weight fly sink down and uh, get deep where the big ones are.